I've recently been uh, finally getting around to catching up on and watching more Kairata Geo. And because of that, I finally got to the Future Riders arcs. So I'm going to talk about Kairata Shinobi a bit. Uh, both his appearance in the Future Rider arc of Kairata Geo, but also the miniseries, the three episode miniseries he got too. Uh, so I just want to talk about that for a bit because I, I really like Shinobi. I knew I would like Shinobi because his actor played Scar Ninja in Ninja and I actually kind of like Ninja. I, I know that's a popular Sentai series to shit on and maybe that's another video for another day for me defending it. I don't think it's like the best series in the world or anything but I was like thoroughly entertained by it uh, and I had no problem like keeping caught up on it all the way through its run. So, I don't know, I really like the ninja and easily my favorite aspect of it was Star Ninja. This character who is a quote-unquote American, but he's played by a Japanese actor. And so they have to convey that he's American anyway by having him dress up in the most cartoonish cowboy outfit ever. And he has an electric guitar and a hamburger phone and he takes selfies with Monsters of the Week and everything. It's great. He's such a good character. He's such a fun character to watch. And, and so when I heard that his actor was coming back for Kamen Geo because he was going to be playing a ninja-themed Kamen Rider, I thought that was the coolest idea in the world. Uh, so basically for anyone who, who hasn't got to this point in Geo, we've basically got to the point where we're now having tribute episodes. Well, I mean, these episodes are really old, but whatever. I'm going to talk about them anyway. We basically got to the point, uh, because Kamen Rider was has been introduced, we are doing tributes and stuff of future writers, of writers that don't even exist yet. And it's a really cool concept, it's a really cool idea. We've had uh, future writers before, uh, writers, you know, who have traveled back in time. The first example that comes to my head was in the Conrad Drive movie, because uh, that had a future writer in it. And and I, I like that idea, it's a cool concept, being able to make up uh, Kamen Riders from future years because you know we kind of get a new Kamen Rider series every year so it's kind of fun to speculate and come up with ideas and stuff for what could potentially happen in, in, in the future and it's even more fun when it's actually Toei doing it and so we 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 have Kamen Rider Shinobi who enters the picture who is a ninja themed rider and he's from uh, 2022 supposedly and he uses like the shuriken to transform and he's got like, this cool gourd thing that he keeps his belt in at all times and everything. It's a really cool idea. And the actual Geo like episodes, the two episodes of Geo that he's in, there isn't that much to talk about because honestly Shinobi isn't in it much. It's more about how you can kind of make your own destiny, I guess, where like, you know, uh, even though you have your own future path planned out and told to you by other people, you can kind of defy that and take your own path. Wow, I wonder if that's foreshadowing what's going to happen with Sogo and Omageo, eh? And so the episodes themselves didn't really focus on Shinobi that much, but they were still pretty good episodes. Uh, I do think the Future Riders arcs, uh, in terms of story and everything, have been the best so far uh, in Geo. It's really starting to win me over with these episodes. But then they also admitted, Toei admitted they didn't think Kamarada Shinobi would be as popular as he would be. And so because of that, they decided to actually make a mini-series for him called Rider Time Kamarada Shinobi. These are three episodes long, each around 15 minutes each. And well, it's a look at what Kamarada Shinobi's series could have actually been like. And so immediately, let's just jump in with the what are the chances we're actually going to get a proper Kamarada Shinobi series? Uh, not very high. Uh, not very high at all because Toei doesn't love to acknowledge its future writers after their appearance, you know, they've done this kind of thing before. Whenever they create a new Kamen Rider for a brand new Kamen Rider series, they like to start from scratch. They like to go, okay, here's our idea, here's our character, and then here's the brand new suit and belt. And so even if this was going to get made into a proper full series in 2022, so even if it was real, it'd still be ages away, they'd basically have to get rid of everything that was in this Rider Time miniseries. They'd have to get rid of the suits entirely and, and redesign them from the ground up again. Uh, same thing goes for the belt, because in this miniseries, the belt is just a black repaint of the GQ driver. But then again, I, I'd like to think that 
A ninja themed Kamen Rider is one of those things that just seems kind of inevitable. Like ninjas are such a massive thing in Japan and they're so heavily focused on fighting and stuff just like Kamen Rider. And, and so it just seems inevitable to me that at some point within the next few years, they're probably gonna have some kind of ninja themed rider. And so if they're going to, they may as well try and get this cast back and everything and make it Kong Rider Shinobi. Again, I don't expect them to, but to me it makes sense to. And again, doing so would make this miniseries and its content not canon, but I like to think of it as like a pilot episode, where if you watch a pilot episode of a show, sure, it might be different to the rest of the series, it might have details and things that are changed and don't necessarily make sense with the rest of the show, but as a as a general layout for here are some of the ideas we have for the rest of the series that we might want to come and flesh out a bit more and here's a general gist of the tone. I think this Rider Time series works in that regard or even just as a fun diversion from Geo it still kind of works. Again I don't want to put too much thought into the whole oh but could it actually happen? I mean Again, I wouldn't bet on it, but if if Toei were to ever actually bring back an already existing writer and give them a full proper 50 episode series, um, well it definitely won't be G, unfortunately. Uh, G is a video for another day. I love G, I really want G to come back, but yeah, he's not coming back, is he? Uh, but Shinobi could. Again, if they were going to bring back any of them, Shinobi could. Uh, Quiz and Kikai uh, too far in the future for it to. Because, of course, if you're going to bring back these characters, you kind of have to bring them back in the year that they were mentioned in Geo. Otherwise, what would be the point? The whole point of bringing these characters back would be to satisfy the adult nerds who care about this continuity stuff and you just kind of piss us off by contradicting the year they come from. So it would definitely have to be Shinobi and it would have to be in 2022. So to get into the actual series itself, the miniseries there isn't that much to talk about. It's definitely a low budget comedy kind of thing. But at the same time, I would like that for the full series. I would kind of like a more comedic series. Not to say we haven't had comedic series before, but the three episodes of Shinobi didn't take itself too seriously. There wasn't much of an actual plot there. There was a little bit of like, uh, world building and lore in there but there wasn't um, all too much in terms of like actual serious plot but there didn't need to be again three of some miniseries and I wouldn't mind again if a full series uh, did kind of take that more lax approach. I've heard that Forze does a similar thing. Forze is more of an upbeat series about just having some fun comedy and stuff and I like that. I like that idea. I don't think every I don't think every Kamen Rider series has to be like Faisal build. But even then, there's still some like depth, surprising depth to kind of dig into because you have these two main writers, uh, Shinobi and Hattori. And Shinobi, well, is a ninja who who's really uh, competent and, and knows what he's doing and everything. And if anything, he's kind of the straight man. Even because whilst he does have like quite a few jokes and fun expressions and stuff of his own that they get him to do, com compared to the rest of the world, he basically is the closest thing to a straight man because there's a lot of moments where other characters will act very over the top and then he'll kind of have an, a deadpan uh, reaction. There's a bit at the end of episode three I really like where they finally defeat the villain and the villain is like, well, uh, to, to, to pay you back for sparing my life, I will tear out your being heart or whatever. <laughs> and, Sh and Shinobi's like, like, wow, your rewards are terrible, dude. And I just love that like dynamic. And, and and this extends to Hattery, who is the secondary writer. Hattery is like this rich, snobby, like spoiled uh kid who is friends with Rentaro, but he's not a ninja, even though he's a common rider and, and tries to like pretend that he's the biggest and everything. He 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 quickly realizes that he's got nothing on Shinobi, and I really like how they kind of play on the dynamic of both of them, despite knowing each other uh, and being friends, they still keep their identity secret, and it's really cool, and, and, and there's some like cool fourth wall jokes, how like there's one bit where Rentaro's about to transform into Shinobi, but to hide his identity, there literally is just a convenient ray of sunlight that covers his face. <laughs> Which is such a silly, stupid joke, but it's like really funny. That's the thing, I don't mind silly and stupid comedy if it's actually funny. And and, and I think that the tone of the miniseries really, really fits that. And, and I also really like the world they're kind of building up to. 
because well it's in 2022 and so the overall like they have a few establishing shots of like the city and everything and it's like very futuristic and there's lots of holograms and stuff everywhere and it, and it, you know it looks very like back to the future too but then most of the actual series because it's ninja themed is like it is like set in these like kind of empty forest areas and, and and like cabins and huts and with very like primitive technology how one of the things uh the one of like the long running things in the plot is that is how Rentaro can barely pay the bills and so his electricity keeps going off every few minutes and, and I think that's a really cool juxtaposition. I really like that. I like having like this very futuristic setting, but still having the main characters not actually rely on any of that. It, it's a really cool idea, which is done, which has no doubt been done countless times before, but I still really like the implementation of it here. I don't know. I just really like this. See, that's the thing. Because it's only a free episode miniseries, you know, you kind of just get what you get. Um, for anyone wondering, you don't need to watch Geo to watch the miniseries. The, the miniseries itself doesn't mention Geo at all, uh, really. Uh, it's its own standalone self-contained story. So as long as you know a little bit about Kamen Rider, as long as you know the basics, you, you'll, you'll kind of understand what's going on. Uh, again, it's just a little peek into what Kamen Rider Shinobi's uh, story and world and everything and tone could be like. And I just really like it. And the suits are like really well made for kit bashes. Uh, kit bashes are, well, what the title basically says. They're bashes of kits. They bash a bunch of different Kamen Rider suits together and repaint them. And, and, and to make a completely different suit at last minute. If you look closely, of course, well, you don't even really need to look that closely. You'll notice that most of Shinobi's suit is made of different X-Aid parts. Uh, mainly the helmet and the shoulder pads they do a really good job of hiding it actually because whilst it does definitely look like uh the x8 suits they still do quite a decent job of covering it all things, all things considered and i really like his scarf his scarf is really great and hattery is mostly made up of uh different parts from car at a drive and just like the orange and the, and the uh purple suits look really great together uh the action scenes are fairly fun again it, it reminds me a lot of ninja which is why i'm surprised that like everyone seems to like shinobi so much because i like it because it reminds you of ninja with like the very silly comedic tone and i mean the protagonist being star ninja and, and all that stuff whereas a lot of people that didn't like ninja still like shinobi quite a bit and maybe it's because uh shinobi doesn't have a full series maybe it's because he is just supposed to be a fun distraction on the side along with geo maybe that's why people like him more and if he did get a full series people wouldn't like it as much i don't know but yeah, I just I just really like Shinobi, man. And I don't expect him to ever come back necessarily. I would I want him to. But again, if they don't, then I you know, fair enough. Uh at the very least, I would like to see him come back in some kind of like future crossover movie or something like that. That would be neat. But yeah, no, I just I, I just really like Shinobi. I was just watching it recently and I'm like, this is a really cool little thing. And the fact that they made it, you know, like they, they originally didn't have any plans to do anything with Shinobi at all after the two episodes of Geo that he was in. So the fact they made this free episode miniseries at all with like a full proper opening theme and everything is really cool. Oh, it's just a neat little thing that Toei does. Because I know like the car rider community and like the talker community at large uh, constantly are complaining at Toei about how they fuck everything up or whatever about how oh Geo isn't as good as build oh no and so it's just I just think it's important to point out when they do a cool little thing that's actually really nice I, I just really like Shinobi I really like Car Rider in general it, it was a cool thing um I don't really have any kind of deeper message to send here I just wanted to talk about a thing I liked so yeah that's Car Rider Shinobi. If you haven't seen it yet, I absolutely recommend it. Uh, assuming you're already a Car Rider fan, it would be a bit of a weird thing to watch if, as your first Car Rider thing. But I mean, if it's a mini series, I guess, to have like a short little thing introduce you to Car Rider uh, before you fully delve into like a 50 episode series. So maybe it would be good for, for beginners. I don't know. So yeah, that's that's Car Rider Shinobi.